in the next few weeks, the school session will come to an end and it will be time to say so long, farewell to you and you and you, goodbye to your current students. Yes, end of years usually come with mixed feelings for educators. And that's because you can't wait to take a long deserved break and enjoy your summer holidays on one hand. On the other hand, you are a bit sad because you're going to miss your students because you all have made such great memories together during the course of the year. And it's sad, 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 sad to say goodbye. So you might be thinking, how do I make our end of school year memorable? I mean, yes, there are general school events like prize giving, award and graduation ceremonies. But as a teacher, you want to give your own students a special parting gift, an experience they will take with them all through summer and even when they move to another class. So what unforgettable activities do you want to share with your students? Hmm, let me share 10 cool, interactive and fun end of year activities you can do with your students. Now, you might want to get your pen and paper to jot down these ideas I'm about to share with you. And you also want to watch till the end as I'm going to not only talk through these ideas, but also demonstrate some of them. Cool, right? So, are you ready? Let's do this. Number one, countdown. In this activity, you will be counting down the days till the last day of school in real time. You can decide to count down from one month, um, three weeks, two weeks, one week, or even some days, maybe five days or three days to closing. I do think that the longer the countdown time, the more fun it is. This might also depend on how many weeks you have got left from the time you're watching this video till you close for the summer session. Okay, let me show you how to do this. Come with me. Hello everybody. Okay, so I'm demonstrating how to do the countdown. What I have just done is to use pieces of paper, as you can see here. I've written numbers on pieces of paper. This is a piece of paper that I've laminated and I've used um, markers to write the numbers. I'm starting from 10 days. Um, you, remember we said you can do like three weeks back or four weeks, so depending. You can start from 20 days left, 19 days left, 15 days left. But for the sake of this video, I've started at 10. So you will have this displayed somewhere in your class where um, everybody can see it, somewhere visible. So what happens is every single day you remove the number and count down. What you can do is to have one child remove the number for each day. So if Dele removes today, tomorrow Zainab can remove. So this is the first day we're starting. So we have 10 days to go and you can see it says 10 days to go. So the next day, a child is going to remove that so that you have nine more days. And the children are looking forward to removing and counting down because that's what it is, it's counting down. So the next day they remove it and then it says eight days to go. The children will be looking forward to have their turn to count down, to remove the numbers and display how many days left. So this is eight days to go. And the next day, the next day another child can remove so we have seven days to go i'm alternating what i'm saying so um seven days to go eight more days this one says nine more days and then this one says this says eight days to go okay so just to have fun now this is seven days to go the children are getting a bit excited because they are looking forward to the d-day so this one says six more days. And of course, the next day, five days left. Ooh, they are getting more excited. And then you keep removing. The children keep removing. Now we have four days left. They are getting more and more excited. Now we have three days to go. Ooh. And of course, by the time we remove that, we would have two more days. Oh, wow. And of course, the next day, we're removing 
to just wow now we have only one day left so by now the children are getting excited what are they going to do on the next day oh wow and then of course on the d-day you're removing this to show that Ta-da! You've come to the end of it. So I just wanted to do this just to show you how you can do your countdown. You can use a flip board if you have that in your class. And what happens is instead of removing like this, you can just flip over. Okay, like that. So you can use flip board or you can use uh, papers, laminated paper, papers, the way I have done it, okay? So again, remember, it's just a fun activity to do with your children as end-of-year activity to make it memorable for them. Okay, so that's it. Number two, class movie. Yes, usually you could decide to watch a movie together as a class to mark the end of the school year. But in this fun and interactive end-of-year activity, you will plan together as a class rehearse accordingly and produce your own class movie yes that you all will act out as a group now make sure everyone is included for example involve everyone in deciding some of these what will be the name of your movie who will play the lead role who will be the movie director and who will be the producer who will be in charge of costumes and makeup all this will be fun to plan together as a class. For one, it would strengthen the bond you already have as a group. Now, when you're done planning, get someone to record your movie. You can make it very, um, you can make it a very short movie so that it's appealing and engaging, right? You can then share the movie with parents, but make sure it's allowed to share other children's pictures or videos in your school. Otherwise, after recording your movie, simply play it in the class for all to watch and share the fun memories. Do note that this should be a very low-key movie, so you would not be needing to buy anything, nor would you need to ask students to pay any money. You can create or craft all your props and costumes by yourselves as a group. That's the whole essence of it, planning together and sharing ideas. The movie doesn't need to be perfect, yeah? No, it doesn't. In fact, the funnier, the more comical and the more ridiculous it is, the better memories you would create. In the end, what you want to do is to have fun with your students before they leave your class. All right, number three, class word search. Now, while you can always Google word searches, and download them. You really can't see a word search online that has the names of your students now, can you? Mm -mm. Exactly. This is why you would be creating your own customized class word search. How to create one? Let me show you. Okay, here we go. So um, we're making the class word search. We're customizing, we're creating, we're customizing your class word search which is an end of year activity you can do with your children. But note that I've modified it, so I've called it class name search instead of class word search because um, it's not just any words we're looking for. We're looking for the names of the students in your class. And I've gone ahead to list the names of the children before I started this video so we can save time, okay? So the children in this class are Sandra, David, Moji, Neka, Obi, Femi, Zainab, Daily, and Betty. Okay, so once you've got this set, what you want to do is to create a box. Okay, first of all, a big box. For the sake of this video, I will make the box very big, and that's so that you can see um, everything inside the box. Okay, so once you've got your big box, you want to just make smaller boxes inside. So that we can fit in the names, each of the letters of the names in the boxes. Okay. So I've got my vertical lines. Next, I want to create my horizontal lines. Okay. There you go. Okay. So the last line 
there now in a word search or in our name search it's very important to write an instruction for the sake of this video i haven't written any instruction you can actually give the instruction verbally since you're going to be doing this with your class students in your class okay so but the instruction includes the fact that they can the words are um forward like from left to right and they can also look for the words backwards they can look for a word from top to down and they can also look for a word from down up and they can also find a word diagonally okay so that's what you need them to know that would help them find the words otherwise they will just end up looking for the words just across okay so we need to start filling in the name so the first name is sandra even though you don't have to start with sandra you can start with any of them but let's start with sandra and for sandra let's make it diagonal okay if we start from here we're going to make it very obvious so maybe let's start from somewhere here and uh, s a n d r o that's not enough <laughs> so these are the things you're going to be trying out okay so let's start from here s a n d r a okay so we've got sandra next is david now since we have d in david and this part of the let words in is part of the letters in the word sandra we can actually write david here d a v i d okay so that way you make it more fun and a bit harder to find okay so we've done david next is moji uh we might not need to connect moji to any of this so let's do moji from down upwards so we can start from here so m o j i next is neka for neka should we make neka backwards let's make neka backwards okay so we can start from here n n e k a so we've got neka next is ob which is just a three letter word but then we have i here so we might just want to fill ob here so obi then we have femi now we have m here so we can do femi here f e m i okay you want to make it as hard as challenging as possible they need to keep looking <laughs> then we have zainab where do we fit in zainab do we still have enough space for zainab the only space left is here but should we make it obvious no let's make it from down to up so z a i n a b next is dele we can fill in delay here so d e l e and the last one is betty hmm do we have enough space for betty not enough space for betty b e t t y b e t t y yes we got that okay so we fill in better there so you see the calculation i'm doing you need to do all of this first okay so when it's not fitting you can erase and write it properly just to make sure all the names fills up first the next thing you want to do is to now fill these empty boxes with random letters okay so i'm just going to start filling these spaces because i already have the the letters i need so i'm done I'm just filling in these spaces with random letters okay there you go and that's it oh one more here okay so once you look at this there's one more here once you look at this it looks like ooh, where are the names but you know you created it so you know where the names are so the work is for the children to do so this is ready once you do this in the uh, in your class the children will take turns to come and look for their names so let's say i am sandra yes. so you need to make sure that you fill in the, the boxes so let's say i am sandra and yay i found my name miss you i found my name so i come out take the marker um and i go 
that's my name Ooh, right now i'm so excited so any child who finds their name will come out and look for it and circle it now the way we've done it is for if it is whole class if you do this put it up on the board it's for whole class that means once a child finds their name they will come and circle it but you can make it you can make it different um, an alternative way to make it is to have this same thing replicated on a piece of paper and then laminate that and then hand it over to each of the students okay so that way every child has all of this and that way that means every child is finding all the names so it's more fun and it will take more i don't know whichever works for you if you want to make it as whole class go ahead if you want to make it an um, individual thing go ahead just replicate this on a piece of paper and photocopy and hand hand it over to each of the students and that's it so this is one beautiful activity very engaging that you can do with your students for end of year remember you want to make um, end of year memorable for them they want you want them to leave your class still remembering oh i remember what we did uh, before we went uh, before we went to another class so make it memorable and this is just one way this is against you going to uh, google to look for a word search that has the names of the children in your class they might even not be english names so it's good that you know how to do this so you can create your own you can customize your own i can't remember the last time i went to google to look for word search i always create mine because sometimes i want it to be in line with what i'm doing in my class so you can do this design it on a piece of paper photocopy it and that's it you can even type it you can create a table on Google Doc, MS Word, create a table, fill in, make a box and fill in the letters exactly the way we've done it here. So put, do it on your on your computer, uh, on MS Word, Google Doc, do exactly what you have here and then print it out. That's it. You can even still customize this, write your name or your class name um, at the footer or up here. Make it yours. Okay. So I've given you more tips for more things. Okay. So that's how to make your own word search or your own name search for your class as end of year activity when you try it out let me know how it goes okay number four talent show now you know how busy the school timetables are these days students hardly even have enough time to grasp um the learning that's going on let alone play and relax the end of year might be the best time to grant them some fun time there are so many talents in your class that might have been hidden and untapped all year long. And trust me, the students will bless your soul for helping them showcase their talents. So here's what to do. Prior to the day the talent show will hold, ask students to choose or decide on the talent or gift they would like to showcase. Once they've all chosen their areas of expertise, you can do a mini rehearsal just to be sure the content and performance are appropriate. On the talent show day, students take turns to come on stage or the front of your class to display or flaunt their talents. You can make this a lasting memory by recording it for keepsake. Number five, farewell videos. In this straightforward activity, you would be recording each child in a 30 second or one minute video. In the video, they will say their goodbyes, what they really enjoyed in your class, what they're going to miss, and so on. Now, if your school allows it, you can share the farewell videos with their parents, not forgetting to keep a copy for yourself. Number six, picnic. This is self-explanatory and mouth-watering at the same time. Simply ask each student on the day of the picnic to come to school with their own food, snacks, or drinks. You all should go outdoors, lay a mat in the field or playground and have group fun in your end of year picnic. Make this memorable by either taking pictures or recording the outing. Thereafter, share with parents. Remember to check and obey your school's privacy policies. Number seven, class queen and class king. Yes, similar to older kids, prom king and prom queen, Crown a boy and a girl, class king and class queen for the session. To make this fair, have the students vote their favorite people. 
The boy and girl with the highest votes win and get the crown. You can make the crowning process a memorable one by turning it into a mini class event by inviting other classes to watch. Number eight, secret gifting. Write the names of the students on pieces of paper and then fold them tightly so the names are concealed. Now pass the names round for students to pick. Thereafter, they'll have to get a gift for the person they picked. You might need to involve parents here or through their children, since the kids don't have money to buy these gifts. Students are not allowed to reveal the names they picked. Everyone finds out who their secret gifter is on the day of the gift exchange. See this activity? It means a lot to students, no matter how cheap their gifts are. And oh, don't forget to add your own name and that of your assistant teacher to the list. This is one memory that the students will hold close to their hearts for a very, 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 very long time. Trust me. Number nine, dance off. Have a dancing competition or dancing contest between boys and girls, for example. Now you can decide to use other criteria. Now in this dance off, who will outdance the other? Who will win? To make this fun, prior to the day of the contest, have students practice their dance steps in their secret places and in their secret groups so the other group don't steal their dance steps. And you may want to invite a few of your colleagues to serve as judges so that it's a fair selection. Trust me, the children will love this. Dancing? Totally cool. And by the way, get ready to see all sorts of dance moves. And don't be surprised too that they will drag you into the contest. They might pair you against your assistant. Oops. Not to worry though, just have fun. Number 10, class award ceremony. In this activity, you'll be giving an award certificate to each student in your class. But here's the catch. These are not your regular academic um, awards or reward certificates. These are fun, weird, humorous, surprising kind of awards. You can give certificates for categories like funniest student, Miss Prim and Proper, Drama King or Drama Queen, Mr. Gentle, Fastest Reader, Math Guru, Artist of Our Time, Laughter Master, <laughs> Class comedian, you can be as creative and silly as you wish. The whole idea is to give your students an unforgettable experience. You can give this a fun twist by asking the students to give you and your assistant an award category as well. You will be surprised or shocked at the kind of award they would come up with for you guys. Now, with all these fun interactive end of year activities, your students are sure to have an unforgettable experience and would always, always remember the impact you made in their lives. We should actually learn to relax a bit sometimes as teachers and not be uptight all the time. Make your end of year this time around a swell time for your students and for yourself. So, tell me, which was your favorite end of year activity? Are you going to try any of them? Let me know and if you enjoyed watching this video, do click the like button to show YouTube that you did. And then of course, you know there is always someone or an education group that you can share this video with. So, please go ahead and share. Are you a subscriber? Much love. Are you yet to subscribe? Not a problem. Do go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Um, and that's it. Have you done that? Go ahead. I'm waiting. Done? Subscribed? Thanks a bunch. All right, people. I'll see you in the next video. For now, I'm signing out. Catch you later.